Hello everyone and welcome to this chapter 5 ruin walkthrough for the Glamrock Beauty Station. This area will look familiar to you because this is where we played the Princess Quest game in Security Breach. But let's continue on through this door. Now let's follow Roxy through these doors and you'll see her running away as she speeds to where she thinks Gregory is. And right here is a security node. Now for the child nodes we must travel down here. We have to go to the right over here. Now be warned, as soon as you put your mask on and deactivate this first child node, the inhibitor will activate and you won't be able to take your mask off. So be ready to run to deactivate the transmitter. Right, so we're going to deactivate this. And then quickly run. Get the mask off again. And you can see the poster's all scratched up now. But anyway, over here is the disruptor, so we just turn that off and then go down over here. The same thing is going to happen here, our masks will get locked on. So let's deactivate this. So now run over here and we can disable Eyeballs. this inhibitor. Really? Gross, 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 gross! All right, now we have to take our mask off to continue through to the next area. Now you'll see a third inhibitor here. However, this one does not activate. I'm not sure if this is a bug or intended, but for now it will not activate. However, as soon as you disable this next child node, your mask will get locked to your face. That means you have to do this next part very fast because the bunny man will spawn and he will summon Chica to your location if you're not fast enough. And you will be locked into this area until you complete the next step. So I suggest taking off your mask here, waiting a few seconds to let the timer reset before interacting with this child node. Once you're ready, put your mask on. Okay, quickly deactivate the scissors. And then we're gonna run down here to the security camera station. And we have to find four anomalies. But first, zoom out because there's a secret camera here we must click on to unlock a door to unlock the secret ending. Then we can go to camera five to get the Roxy anomaly. Camera 3 for the Chica Anomaly. Camera 4 for the Scissors. And Camera 6 for the Eye. Now you will hear the Bunny Man coming after you, but you have to finish this. If you don't finish that in one go, you're done for. Now he did summon Chica on me, so just run straight through here and go to the left. We need to do this next child node. Uh, so put your mask back on, do this next child mode. We have to do it to get rid of Chica. Once you do that, Chica will start walking behind you. Do not worry, she will not see you. Just stay where you are. Don't move. She can't see you if you don't move. And then Chica will go into that room and turn herself off. So now it is safe to continue forwards. And if you open the door here, you can check it out. Chica is still here. Uh, if you want to go near her, you can, but I'm going to keep my distance. Now let's go ahead and open this door. Alright, now we can go back through the Glamrock Beauty Station to get back to that security node. Alright, let's quickly solve this. I'm going to take off my mask as I continue down this path. They definitely have a lot more arrows in this one. Alright, keep going down. And we're going to take this ladder. And now we have to deal with this fun part with Monty being a shark in the water here. 
Now I have to tell you the controls for Neff are not built for parkour, so if you're going to fall in the water just make sure Monty's not near you. He doesn't go super fast, so you can quickly jump onto something uh, if he's pretty far away. But you kind of have to like jump at the very last second here to get onto objects. And Monty's just kind of patrolling here. Oh, but see, I fell in the water, but we jumped back on, so it's okay. Now, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, you can lure Monty to specific places in the water by standing in the water and then getting out. Or you can play it patiently and wait for him to move. Okay, so now we're here. We're gonna unlock this door. Alright, now Monty is gonna magically teleport to this other area here, so be careful about just jumping in the water, because he will get you if you're not paying attention. He's gonna spawn just around the corner of this water area. Yep, there he is. Um, he's just chilling in the corner there. I'm seeing if I can lure him away. Oh, I think he's stuck, guys. Well, of course he gets stuck when I'm trying to do a walkthrough video. Well, I need him to actually work as intended because doing this next part with him bugged um, is not going to re replicate your experience that well. So, be right back. Okay, I'm back over here. Let's jump in back to this log. I can never jump on that log that well. Okay, but Monty should be spawning around the corner here somewhere. Yep, there he is. So we're gonna let Monty just swim down there. And when he gets near the end, I'm just gonna book it to the door. Because screw this hopping stuff. Like, Monty is not mega fast in the water, he's kind of slow, so you can actually just book it across and not even worry about hippity hoppity. Now the only thing is that since I was in the water, he's most likely gonna come over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for him to come all the way over here, and then eventually he'll see nothing's here, and then he'll path all the way back. So let me cut ahead a bit because this could take a while. Okay, Monty's finally here checking out the spot where I just was, and now he's going back. So basically you just have to wait for him to path like all the way down there before you try to do the door code. So if you see him there, then obviously that's way too close. And you just kind of play it by ear. If he sounds far away, uh, go for it. Again, he's not mega fast in the water, so as long as you have enough time to do the puzzle, you'll be good. And as soon as you finish this puzzle, it's going to start an animation. And supposedly that means we don't have to deal with Monty anymore, which I am fine with. Now we can continue up these stairs and lag a little bit because it's loading a new area. And then go up this ladder. Okay, so up the ladder we can go down the walkway and go through this door jump down this broken wall. We're entering this door. And now we are at the raceway. So that brings us to the end of this chapter. I hope this guide has helped you out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.